I was heading to the interview for a marketing research analyst position in my dream company. The interview went really well. My new potential boss seemed quite pleased with my experience and skills. So, the last but not the least, what makes you stand out from other candidates? Well, as you can see from my CV, uh, I have a lot of experience in leading marketing projects. And I also consider myself as an open-minded and creative person. Open-mindedness and creativity is definitely what we need, Aries. I think that you are the right person for us. And guess what? You are hired. Congratulations, Eriks. Thank you. See you tomorrow. The first day of work was great. My boss showed me around and explained my new responsibilities. My expectations of the company seemed completely true so far. Performance-driven and efficient. That was exactly what I was looking for. My new colleagues confirmed this even more. They gave me insight about our company's business and current projects, so I could start contributing to the team right away. After several months, I had been getting along with my duties pretty well and felt like I was able to improve some things in the company regarding our current marketing plan for smartphones. So I went straight to my boss with an idea that I considered worthy. And so I was looking at our marketing plan and I noticed that our old line of S-type smartphones is showing losses lately. And I thought maybe we should allocate more resources on our newly developed uh, Z-type smartphones because they show very high potential in the market, the period of okay, demand. Okay, Eriks, I think that you really should not think about it for now. I'll take care of it. What I really want you to do is do that spreadsheet with the emails of our potential customers for now. And forget about this thing, okay? I'll take care of it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, However, he kept giving me what I thought were entry-level tasks. And it felt like he was trying to control every step and decision I make. Uh, Eric's, that's Alex, yeah. I was just wondering if you put uh, that Latvian company on the spreadsheet I was t telling you about. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, fine, thank you, just want to check. And Eric, that's me again, it's Alex, and did you make that column with the names of the CEOs of the company? Oh yeah, perfect, thank you, thank you very much. He was checking and controlling everything I did. Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about your nice. marketing plan. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, so, I thought, I thought we should advertise a new product on the internet, right? Let me help us. Just, okay, I'm sorry, forget everything, you heard? We'll do it in a different way, okay? So listen. Every step I make. Oh, Eriks, here you are. Just wanted to talk to you about that spreadsheet. Uh, Do you have a minute now? I'll be back in a minute, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sure. Here. Even what I was wearing. Oh, it's been a hell of a week, Eriks, yeah? By the way, don't you have a watch? No, I don't. How do you manage your time, man? Well, I actually... <laughs> well, I don't want to listen. Just get yourself a watch. Tomorrow. At the end of the year, the board meeting discussed the performance of all the departments. So, this year, I have no questions to the finance department, since you have done a really good job. Uh, but as for the marketing department, uh, you have really under underperformed uh, this, this year. And I'm not really satisfied with the dynamics of customer base. Yeah, you know, me neither. And I know the roots of this problem. Do you remember that guy, Eriks, we hired last year? Yeah, I remember him. Okay. Yeah, so this guy is a complete underperformer. He just cannot work on his own. I had to control him constantly. He didn't come up with a single idea. So I guess that he's the real root of the problem and we should definitely fire him. So next year we'll have very cool, very juicy results. What do you think? Yeah, that's the... So I was fired him and that's it. And so I lost my job, my home, my wife and my kids, all because of micromanagement. According to Forbes, 79% of employees said they had been micromanaged at one time or another. Please, micromanage responsibly.